Hi guys, it's Nancy, and you guys have really loved the new 3D folders that Spellbinders launched. And I showed you guys two videos. One video was showing the new um, Universal Platform, which is going to go in your Spellbinders Platinum system or your Big Shot. Um, I'm not sure if it'll work in the Stampin' Up one. I don't have the Stampin' Up machine, but it says it's universal and that it'll work in most machines. The machine that it's not going to work in is the Gemini. So I have here the Gemini Junior. I never bring it on camera. There you can see it's got all its little stickers on it, okay? So these are all of the samples I showed you guys. I showed you five different ways you can um, step up your embossing folders with inks, with powders, with paste. Um, so these I all, I did all of these for you guys with the Spellbinders Platinum system. I think this one sold out already. Um, but I wanted to show you guys, yes, you can use these folders. So here are the folders again. They're 3D folders. They're large. They're eight and a half by five and a half in size. Um, you can use it with the Gemini Junior. And I did one already with some thick black cardstock. Here you can see that floral one um, in the Gemini Junior. So I wanted to show you if you wanted to do that, how you can use these folders in the Gemini Junior. So I'm going to start with the um, Tufted. And I just have a piece of white pearl cardstock here. Now you might need a paper shim, but all I did was put this in my folder. I have my base cutting plane. I'm using a Craft First Place. I'll put my Amazon link for that. That's what I've been using. And then um, the the milky shim. Okay, so that's all I use, and then fed it through my junior. Let's see how it does. I do have my magnetic shim here. We'll see if we need that. Okay, so that actually worked perfectly. So there you can see the tufted embossing folder using the Gemini Junior. Okay, so let's try another one. So I did the floral, the tufted, let's do the leaves. And this is using some silver pearlized car card stock. Again, my base plate, my folder, and milky shim. So if you have the Gemini or the Gemini Junior, and the, and the embossing folders fit just perfect on the plate here. Okay? So you don't need to buy anything extra for your Junior. It fits in there perfectly. Now, if you're using thicker cardstock, I would recommend spraying the back of it with a little bit of water. If you're using thinner cardstock, you may need an extra shim. So I'm not going to take this off. I can see that it's not fully impressed on this side. So I'm going to close this and I'm just going to add a thin paper shim to this. I'm gonna put that right on top and I'm gonna run it through again. There we go, that's much better. So I can see my impression is now even all the way. So that answers your question. If you have a Gemini or a Gemini Junior and you want to purchase these new 3D embossing folders from Spellbinders, I'll put the link down below. They do work. You're going to use your base plate, your folder with the paper. If it's thinner cardstock, I would add a paper shim. You don't need anything special. And then your milky plate. Okay. So using the base plate, the folder, and the milky shim. It should work for you, no problem, as you can see here. And again, to give you an example of some of the folders, I don't have all of them, but we have the leaves. We have tufted. I called this one the wrong name. It's not called circles. I'll have to look that up for you. I'll put a link down below for you. Um, the diamonds, which I do believe these sold out, so they're on back order already. 
and then the new floral, okay? So I'll link everything and I'll link the other videos showing how I use these in the Platinum Machine and the different ideas. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, guys, and keep on embossing. Bye!